who in the hell said Nelson was a legend? He a legend of losing. <laughs> no, I think he is Name, a legend. Maybe he made he not one won. damn final. Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. We are back with a new episode of the Challenge World Championship. This is episode three. So we're going to hop in like we do every week. And I would like to say this episode could have moved it along. Like, <laughs> it along. <laughs> like slow, literally, half slow is an understatement. <laughs> Man, this, episode crazy. <laughs> this episode felt like one of the filler episodes on an anime where it's like, it's the fight. It's like the scene right before the fight. And you get the first part of the tragic, get the the tragic backstory. Part. Yeah, you gotta wait till next week on <laughs> next time on Dragon Ball Z. It's like, come on, man. Just but that's how they always do when they throw off the, the order, like the formation, yeah. like challenge, mm -hmm. elimination, end episode. But because they didn't, they had to get get, get back on track. So they was spend half the episode talking. But yeah, so about nothing. That's the thing that's crazy. They spent half the episode talking about literally nothing. <laughs> Like yeah. it was no progression, it was no game talk, it was literally one thing being talked about this whole episode. Yeah, yeah. So they spend almost more than half the episode talking about um who's John A and Grant going to uh decide to throw into elimination. The choices were Kellyanne and Tristan or Jody and uh Ben Ha. Um, and so everybody is discussing the different possibilities. Every single person, they keep going around in different groups. Um, and um, John A is still not sure, which again, I think is crazy if that's your best friend, <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think, I think even Kellyanne crazy. said it. It was Kellyanne and I think Amber B mentioned it too. Like, if this your best friend and you're questioning if you're going to throw them in, <laughs> Just don't say that. It's your best friend in the house. I, I understand, but she ain't your best friend in the house. It's, it's, yeah, it's <laughs> obviously. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, she was. That's not how you treat a friend. Yeah, I don't know why she threw out that whole best friend thing? Because it was just yeah. like I've never seen y'all act like best friends on this show ever. ever. And y'all <laughs> done three <laughs> seasons of the show together. You've literally yeah. done three iterations of the show together. I've never seen y'all like best friends. So yeah, I don't even I, know why yeah. she did that. And she literally says to Wes, word for word, she tells Wes, I don't care whether Kellyanne or Jody go in. How you don't care whether <laughs> Kellyanne or Jody go in? That's you crazy. You should care. You should very much care. That's you should stupid. care. You should at least be like, I feel so bad if I have to throw Kelly. And she said, I don't care, Wes. I do not care. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Yeah, that was I mean, that's what she did. That's the problem. She's been used to winning all her damn life. Now she don't know. She don't have no damn heart when it comes to sending people to eliminations. Yeah, She's been doing it ever since she was a damn teenager. That's, that's crazy. Since this was excuse me, so early, so early in the game for her to make a move like this. Like we always hear them say, it's too early to really like throw the first knives or make any real, like ripple effects. And John Day was just like, you know what? I'm about to spice it up. Destroy everything. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, choosing chaos. <laughs> and and you know, not that many people are on Kelly inside. But if you say you're her friend, you should be on her side. And yeah. Jody also, it's not like Jody is somebody that's immersed in the game with people. Yeah, she is no. also more of an outsider person. Jody don't have nobody. Jody don't yeah, have Derek. So, Derek ain't there. So you don't. Yeah, Jody so, don't really have the closest person she may have is like Darrell. Yeah, and that's that's literally it. Like she don't have anybody, ain't nobody really there for road rules. Yeah, yeah. The and then that's it. like if she wanted to forge like bonds and whatnot, Argentina was already on everybody hit list. So why even shake the boat and uh, uh, choose somebody non Argentinian? Yes, I I agree. It's, I mean, it's I like wild. So I, I'm not against Argentinians. I just don't understand this this. I don't. I wouldn't have done this. Um, yeah. So, um, Ben Ben Ha is uh, very optimistic that that yeah. you know, <laughs> positivity and everything. I mean, it works. Okay, um, his head is just in the clouds. Poor like, ben Ha. <laughs> I, I feel like I would not be put against Huhui. I feel it, and you know. <laughs> and so then we get um, a scene of Tori mentioning um, to 
um, the MVPs that, you know, now the legends are going to have to turn on each other because prom, I guess they have talked before, like, and they are all friends, but now they didn't know how the game was going to be played when they have decided to stick with legends. And he, she says it will be, it will be crazy if like Wes or Jordan throw in her or Casey. And I was like, I didn't know Wes was close to you or Casey. <laughs> yeah. I don't know but where that came from, but maybe that's a, maybe that's a, Behind the scenes, pre yeah, pre yeah. conversation. <laughs> I was gonna say it would be crazy for Wes to throw in Casey. I didn't know they was even friends, but maybe they yeah. are. We haven't seen. But them. Mm -hmm. uh, that conversation sparks this whole thing of legends versus like the global MVPs. Because even Sarah, and I was kind of confused on Sarah's point because she basically was trying to start a coup against the legends. But I'm like, y'all, you're partner with one. That doesn't make. <laughs> like, also, I don't think like. I think them pairing them up with legends kind of just made the whole concept of the show convoluted because yeah. it's like you were better off just having it be an individual competition or having it be global a MVPs set of global versus... MVPs, a, the, like Argentina versus USA versus uh, UK versus four legends. Yeah, it should have been be done with world, it. It, it. That's what it should have been. Yeah. Um, so then we get Theo and Kaz get a little uh, scene, um, and it shows that they are um, trying to get along. You know, they are exes. And what was you gonna say? I was gonna say I feel like producers help to have this conversation because I was like, Rodrigo don't understand a word y'all saying. He don't care, <laughs> bro. <laughs> not at all. He don't care about your relationship. He don't. I was like, producers told y'all to have this conversation because he looked like they literally breaking it down trying to explain to him their relationship. And he was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, producers, like, yeah, producers made them have that conversation. Like, if it was, because uh, I think also Emily mentioned that she's dating Ryan now. Yeah. Also, I think they're gay. She showed a ring, and I was like, what's going on right here? But, um, if they was talking to her about like you know being like in the game with her, or even Tori and Jordan, who are literally exes in the game, that would have been like a more like okay, believable, natural conversation. This I'm thinking producers. Uh, yeah. producers yeah. about this conversation. <laughs> the majority of the episode was just a bunch of forced conversations. Like I'm while I was watching it this morning, I got like halfway through, I'm like. So we going to get to anything that like <laughs> resoundingly makes any sense and it just yeah. didn't get there and then they started having these different everybody started having different conversations yeah. but it was predominantly in regards to Kellyanne yeah. and John A. and I'm like oh, I don't care. I yes. think they're trying to set up this whole relationship thing among the legends. Like that was the big through line like does it matter like is the relationships that you have outside of the house gonna matter in the house type of thing like the, it's basically becoming like the legends are the main characters essentially I mean, but they, they are <laughs> legends is always gonna be the main character they are the main character yeah. that, yeah. and that's fine but if you're gonna do that you gonna how you gonna start with john a and kelly and you're gonna bore us to death on the first one you could have at least started with wes and yes or wes and johnny or Tori and Jordan, give us something yeah. that's interesting. Don't give me... I don't care about Kellyanne, bro. I'm sorry. I don't care. She don't do nothing. She's just there. Don't do Kellyanne. I like her. I no, I, it's, it's not that I don't like her. I just... You just don't like what, her. What has she done? Yeah. She ain't done anything. And, and it's like I said, she's not terrible, but I've watched every season... That she's ever been on. The only time she was ever interesting was when she argued on an island with Johnny for eight episodes. <laughs> like that's it. She didn't do nothing else. <laughs> well, we get yeah. a scene. Uh, we get a scene where John A, for whatever reason, decides to assure Kellyanne that I will not that we had an alliance, and basically you're not going in. And I was like, mm. well, John A. It's true. <laughs> I said specifically, you ain't going in. So I was like, okay, end of, end of story. It's a wrap. <laughs> I literally was like, okay, rest of the episode. <laughs> and I could, yeah, you know, because like, why unprovoked would you do that? Yeah. Johnny, not you. You, you wouldn't lie. 
You don't. You yeah, don't I don't think why. Because why? What was the point? It, it literally. <laughs> Like what was Kelly the said, reason? Kelly was like unnecessarily. She told me this, and it really was unnecessary because you already was like, you know, I don't care what Kelly Ann said. So it wasn't like you was doing it because you cared about her bothering you. Like, yeah. what what would make you even go up to her and, and assure her if you if it was not true? I don't exactly. Know. That's what I'm saying. Like, and this and and that's crazy coming from somebody whose specialty in the damn game is politics. That don't even make sense. That didn't make sense. I was like, at least you could go into it like I never promised you anything. It's not even like the edit. It's not even the editing this time. Like we can be, oh no, it's just the editing. They just made the conversation look weird. And no, she's just dumb. She she was being dumb. She was literally being dumb. Like you can't do that. I was just. I feel like Johnny was letting Grant be in her ear, and like I don't know. I just don't feel like John. I feel like I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that was Johnny talking. Like Johnny's smarter than that. I know she's smarter than that. He saw that Jordan and Tori are still in love, apparently. Uh, exactly. Jordan definitely still in love. Danny. Uh, Danny did make a good point. He's like, these friendships going to be the death of y'all, but not I. Not I. He, <laughs> he said, said, I don't care about. He said, I don't need no friends. <laughs> he said, I don't need no friends. I also think that's going to be a big problem. Is that he's going to be so hell bent on getting out some of the other legends that Tori that Tori's close with that that's going to fracture. Yeah, they'll be bumping heads. I feel like they'll still they'll still survive because still Tori, still one of the best them. women, Danny, one of the best men, they'll still make it work. But it, you can't win with a nigga you don't get along with. It's going to be very difficult. Their yeah. politics and their alliance is going to bump heads because we already see Absolutely. Danny talking to Sarah and Sarah's going to get Danny in trouble, honestly. I was like, yeah, first of all, <laughs> what? Sarah ain't got no alliance. <laughs> I, I don't understand it because Sarah and USA, them them boys did not have your back. So I told you. <laughs> they did not have your back. It's funny too you mention that because you think Theo ain't got nobody either. Theo? Theo really, realistically, Theo really don't have anybody. I think he does. He he does. I mean, just, I mean, Johnny yeah, cool. they, they, him and Johnny Jordan are cool. With you. They're Theo, cool, but at the end of the, but do you really want to see Theo in a final? He got two. I mean, you don't want to see Theo in a final, but Johnny and all of them, I think he's, Theo is not at the bottom of the Well, the, yeah, the pecking yeah, order. Well, yeah, he I in mean, the middle. The pecking order, Theo's like, well, right that's, that's in the middle. middle. You don't have nobody. Yeah. You, he ain't the first person. No, no. Yeah. Before we get into the elimination, we do see Johnny and Nelson have a discussion where Nelson essentially tells Johnny that if I keep my hair down, I yeah. want Tristan and Kelly in. If I put it up, no, he said if I keep it down, give me Ben Ha and uh not Ben, ben Ha and Jody. And if I put it up, give me Tristan and um oh, Kelly Ann. Yeah. One, one I was like, you was never gonna get you was never gonna choose Ben Ha and Jody because they're literally your team. Regardless of team, yeah, like don't why matter. would you have ever chose them? Like why would that even? <laughs> yeah, you see so why I, like, I wow. say, you see why I say he's dumb. Okay, so yes. at the elimination, you know, TJ brings everybody out, and you know he asks John A and uh, Grant who they are going for, and as he's asking them, Nelson puts his hair up, which really it wasn't necessary because like <laughs> the answer was going to be the answer. <laughs> it didn't and matter. Also, John A, I'm oh, sorry to cut you off, but uh, John A made the logic yeah, that, that's about <laughs> that if Nelson, Nelson, she would have told Kellyanne it was Nelson's decision. Like what? <laughs> do you think, do you think Kellyanne would have get the that? choice. Oh, oh, Nelson told you. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> like, no. Like, no. I'm just like, that don't even make sense. It's not this is it's not oh my god, it's not You're a like, man. That is just like like oh we can blame I've it on never been more fr- oh. I swear to god, I've never been more frustrated watching an episode of the challenge in my life. Yeah. I've never been more frustrated. When the politics ain't mapping, it really just sends you for a loop because you're just like, what are we doing? Like when the rookies get <laughs> like, eliminated none of that back to what back, she you're said like, makes sense. Doing? It's the fact that Nelson actually put his damn dreads in a bun and then they turned around and was like Oh yeah, I'm gonna vote in Kellyanne. Like, you gonna give him what he want? 
But they didn't. They was already gonna do that. His hair could have been down. He could have <laughs> did. His hair could have been down in a in a braid on the side top. On it don't matter what he would have did. They would have made that choice. That was just that, a cute. That is. Yeah. Cute. But then go ahead, go ahead. I can't. This, oh, no. uh, this, this I, I just I hate Nelson so much. I'm sorry. I can't. Like, um. But John A. and uh, Grant do end up sending Kellyanne and Tristan into the elimination. John A. don't look remorseful at all. She's like, it was that bitch was she, laughing. Kellyanne was like, I look up there and I see John A. has a smirk on her face. That bitch was laughing. <laughs> now they said the game is the game, okay? That bitch was laughing. That, that was not a smirk. Like, that was a like full, like she this. laughed. The cameras just <laughs> caught her when she was done she laughing. Like, she was laughing. <laughs> I refuse to believe she that. didn't laugh. I I would have laughed. Hell, would have laughed. Like Kelly has said, at least pretend. Like you oh, literally, saying, like bro. you literally told her that I'm not gonna vote for you. At least act like you have some sympathy. Bro, she said that That's four it. hours before she sent her in. How you like four even hours? Even when Jordan, guy? even when Jordan told Fessy four hours before he wasn't gonna throw him in, Jordan still had remorse. He knew what he was gonna do, but he had remorse. <sighs> At least but, give like an extra uh, asterisk sentence. I did this because John A was like <laughs> the elimination um that Kellyanne and Tristan are going in against uh Huhui and Nelson is called Tether Brawl. Oh my so Jesus. One, one um of the members, the the woman will be in a swing and the other partner has to swing them towards what were those things? What it was. They were, uh, it was basically blocks. blocks. It was basically just building blocks. Yeah, they had your partner like eight, to the building block, and you had to like grab eight, eight of them and mm -hmm. then stack them. And the first person, I thought it should have been something else to it. At like like, I I I, I thought that it was too easy. Could have been. It could have been something like, like like on Fresh Meat too, where like they had to swing them around and then grab puzzle pieces and then build a puzzle in the middle. Like after you build all eight, they would the the swing would lower and it yeah, would interfere with the puzzle that you were trying to build. So you had to swing your partner around after you just finished swinging her from side yeah. to side. Now you got to swing her around while you build this whole building block thing in the middle. Yeah, that, that, that would have been a little bit extra. more entertaining. Yeah, because once they got him down, all you had to do is all he had he and you know yeah she, she yeah the girls out the girls out the way and you just build yeah. your block and you good. Yeah, so they um, get started on this, and it really was just a. <laughs> it was embarrassing because this, this and embarrassing. Never really, they never really got the hang of it. So Kellyanne and Tristan were, you know, they they knew how to do it. They were swinging it, um, and, every, and they were getting the puzzle pieces. And the only shot that Nelson did have is when Kellyanne dropped one of them, and if it lands in the middle, you all can wrestle for that piece, and he was able to get that. Uh, but that was only one piece, and everybody is trying to help. Nelson like trying to give him advice on how to swing Kahui, um, but he's not getting like the rhythm. He kept stopping her momentum. So yeah, it really was a uh what's um it was a blowout. Yeah, blowout. But this was it was pathetic. This was it was than, the worst, this was worse goddamn than performance I've ever seen in a fucking elimination round in my goddamn life. I was embarrassed watching that on television. Are you like they were yelling directions at this man, and he literally is not listening. But maybe you can't <laughs> hear in the moment. Like, you probably just, like, it's probably loud. GG, GG, GG. Literally, G -G. everybody was saying the same you, thing. You trying, you trying, you trying, you trying to make Don't stop her. Here you, you go. Li thank you. Thank you. You're, you're literally trying to cover up <laughs> for his stupidity. We're not going for that today. This no. Was worse Black than History Month is shit. over. We're this not, we're, we're not defending DC stupidity from Black people right now. He said it's worse than what? The Josh, Josh and uh, Michi elimination. It really was a one-sided battle. It was only Kellyanne and Tristan. They won that one. Um, and everybody, I mean, nobody was really upset except for John A and, uh, what's her name? Except for John A and Graham because they sent them in. Um, and so when it come, when they won, I literally was just speaking into the universe. Please, Kellyanne, just act cool, calm. Please, just act cool, cool calm. <laughs> because I think she was wrong. This was like wrong of John A to do that. But Kellyanne is very like a loose cannon. And so, you know, to make sure people don't just like turn on you, you need to be able to take the take the win and just go go to bed. <laughs> I think what really made the situation worse is when Grant came in there and talking about. <laughs> 
Bro, what would, I possess, I <laughs> what would possess you to come up <laughs> and, and, and say and say, I thought you was going home? What would possess you? <laughs> After you, if I was, like, if I, what, you know what would have pissed me off even Tristan more? Was a good one because you can you can see it in his face that he was ready to give Grant uh, his big one because he was like, let me say, it, hey, bro, bro. <laughs> let me tell you something. You thought I was going to go home after you just saw Nelson physically not know how to work a swing, and you thought I was going to go. I, me personally, I probably would have got kicked off the show. I'm glad that in the confessional he was like, "I see how the game is being played. I'm gonna take a mental note. I'm gonna keep moving forward, and when I can, I'm gonna leash all my anger." And I was you like, know who else had you energy in the confessional? Kellyanne, when she said. I'm gonna see you in these challenges. I was like, <laughs> I wasn't. First of all, I'm like, come on, Kelly, yeah, Kelly, and I on my uh my fantasy draft team. But I, you know, I don't be, I don't really. You making the show interesting, be- and I feel like that's all I need. I just need somebody to yeah. give me a reason to watch, and I feel like Kelly Ann is one of this. Not she the used thing. to bore me. Yeah. She's not boring me now. Um. I do want to mention, so once, like, once, you know, they all get in the house, and like I said, Kellyanne is doing pretty good of not addressing it, just going about her day, and then she goes into the uh, room, because her and John A are roommates, um, she goes into, she goes into the room, and she's like, what if she's like, she goes into the room, and she's like, what, me, what, why did you throw me in? I was like, girl, don't even ask, why'd you do that? Yeah, see, <laughs> but she was, I, that was just, she was just looking for she was looking for something to I think get a better understanding of. Like, like, if we friends, what are you throwing me in for, bro? Like, I, we, I, I, I honestly don't think she wanted to know. I think she just wanted to see what Johnny was going to say. Because, I feel like no matter what the yeah, that also would have been, Kellyanne would have been our... Kellyanne, when she came in the house, she was already... She was ready to go. Yeah. Tristan yeah. Compton yeah. was like, hey, we're not even going to... Then once she got in that room, she saw her talking to Jody... And they were trying to get quiet, and Kelly Elkin was like, Mm-mm. so why did you throw me in? And no, she was like, uh, I heard that, she was like, we made a deal, but I heard that you started going around the house telling people that we made a deal. And Kelly Elkin was like, I didn't never say that. Kelly Elkin said, that's the was like, that's not what I heard. Yeah, she, that's, yeah, they like, did. That was, a, yeah, that was bullshit. Yeah, Kelly Elkin was like, that's a weird thing to say. And I also was like, that's a weird thing to <laughs> yeah, say. Yeah, I was like, like mm-hmm. why wouldn't you ask that's, me? <laughs> mm, that's weird. <laughs> Okay, well, let's get to the fantasy draft. Fantasy draft, fantasy draft. Uh, give me one second. All right. So, uh, wrong thing. So, in first place is I, Sad the Cats. Uh, yeah, with 400. Really? Oh. <laughs> Just with 440 points, uh, Kellyanne was my big uh, hitter. She gave me the verbal altercation. She gave me the the crying. She gave me. Don't the you get points subtracted for your person going into elimination, anyways? Mm-hmm. You what? Don't you get points yeah. subtracted for just making sure them points was added up? <laughs> that was last uh, last week. She okay. gave me uh, with Kellyanne. Kellyanne gave me negative five comp points last week. But she made it out big this week. So, and I'm pretty sure it's going into next week too, because her and John ain't not done yet. So, I'm getting all the verbal altercations this season. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so Kellyanne was my big uh, my big winner uh, this season. In second place, we got GG, 342 points. Uh, you got all your players, minus uh, Nathan, who left last week. Um, all your people was really in the background, for real, for real. Uh, your people really didn't get any type of confessionals or comps because of this episode, so it was just kind of eh this week. And then in third place with 253 points, we have you, Savon. You lost to Huey and Nelson. Good, but the rest good, of the team good. Is, I'm happy. So you, <laughs> so you got rid of the dead weight. Who left last week? Uh, Nathan. Um, no, it was a girl. Claudia. 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 Uh, with your people, uh, like I said, they didn't really do nothing. They just was there. Yeah, they was just there. But yeah. that's okay. I don't see none of them going home for at least another four or five episodes. 
Everybody gonna I'll be say fine. Danny is probably gonna be our best bet and Cass. Cass gonna win the show. I don't I Cass I don't gonna know win. Bro. I don't know about right. You keep you keep doubting. I keep <laughs> telling you, I pick and winner. I, I pick winner. Tori is, is there and I pick Zara, winners. don't sleep on Zara. Zara. I pick winners. I pick winners. Well, that is our recap and review, guys. Thank you so much for watching um, our video. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment down below. And we will see you on our next video.